Ken Surfs here, and we're back in the shaved end for another shave. And I've got my new mount. Uh, this is the mount that uh, I just ordered, and it's identical to the other mount that I had, except this one is white. The other mount that I have currently is black. So what I did is I, uh, I like that previous mount. Kind of looks good in here. So I took off, this is the damn suction cup thing that's been screwing up. So I took the brand new one off of here, and I put it on there. So hopefully, and I'm not gonna take it off, I'm gonna leave that thing on as long as possible because you know they have this like sticky surface on uh, these things and this is just completely gone, completely gone. But uh, that's the type of mount that I use and it's, uh, you know, fits nice on the windshield or on your uh, mirror and then uh, it opens up and holds my iPhone. All right, so today's shave, we are going to be using a couple of new items that I haven't used before. The first one is from Mama Bear's Shave Company and it is Bear Ice Eucalyptus and Menthol. So I'm going to open that one up right now and get it set up. How has your week been going? I hope, uh, hope you had a good week. It's almost the weekend. One more day to go. Let's see here. Man, that razor blade did not, there, here we go. Did not really cut that, uh, there, here we go. Cut the puck. I said puck. All right, so there's the uh, Mama Bear's Bear Ice, and I'm gonna put it into the Captain's Choice bowl right here. In fact, I've got my badger brush soaking, so I'm gonna put a little bit of hot water on there just started blooming a bit. So I've got it just sitting in there. I'm using uh, one of my favorite brushes from uh, DS Cosmetics, and it's is a two-band badger brush, and uh, I really enjoy this one. I brought it with me on a couple of trips, and man, it's a big, big brush, and it fits real nice into the crystal skull, so it's soaking. All right, the razor today, um, much requested. Uh, let me double check that, lock in that auto exposure. Much requested. The razor today is the Yaki Bevel Clone. Very much similar to the uh, real bevel, except this one has a really nice kind of bronze finish. It's got the Yaki logo on the top. But uh, weight-wise, it's pretty much a wash. Now, I'm going to be using in it today an Astra Platinum, Superior Platinum, double-edged blade. I call them the Astra Greens. And just like the bevel, this is a three-piece razor. I like how the Astras, they put their logo on one side. I don't know if you can see that. And then it's blank on the other side. All right. Lock that in place. Now I do notice this is a little smooth, so hopefully it uh, doesn't slip out of my hand. It looks to me, well the blade's lined up nice, but I seem to have a little more bite on that top one than I do on the bottom one. I don't know if you can see that side to side. In fact, let me put a blade in the uh, the bevel. Let's see if that's the same with them. Uh, hard to tell. Hard to tell. Well, we'll see how that goes. Maybe that'll give me a little extra, a little extra aggression on one side versus the other, but we're gonna try this for the first time today. So if I get cut, oh, oh, oh you're seeing it live. I'm gonna use some pre-shave oil today from E-Shave, a uh, really nice oil. I use the pre-shave uh, uh, creams and I use the pre-shave oil. So I haven't used this one on camera, I believe. I know I've used E-Shave products before, but I'm not sure if I've used the pre-shave oil, uh, but we're gonna use it today. Sure does smell good. 
I've opened it, so I must have used it. But I just don't know if I put it on a video or not. All right. Oh, wet my face just a little bit. And the reason I'm using uh, some pre-shave before the uh, shave today is uh, it's ver been very windy and dry out here. And my face is extremely, extremely dry. I've been using a uh, like moisturizing lotion. And I'm especially going to put that shave oil down here. I know uh, a lot of you were saying, hey, I get some razor burn. Uh, what can I do? And sometimes you put this uh, pre-shave oil on <laughs> and it helps soften the beard a little bit and moisturizes the skin. All right. Don't want to have too much... Too much soba. Wow. I can smell the menthol very well. Very, very, very well. And she lathers very good. See it? She's spilling out. The only reason I'm using a bowl is I do not want to whip it up in the Mama's Bear wooden bowl because that thing is just awesome and I don't want to ruin that. So I'll whip it up in here. And it's coming along. Wow, some good, powerful menthol. That's the shave cream that the people recommended. The uh, you viewers said you got to try that Mama Bear's uh, uh, Bear Ice because it is wow, superior, superior menthol scent. And I have to agree. And it sure does lather good, right? All right. All right, first time using this razor. Took it right off. Now I'll rotate it. Hey, so far so good. ready for the weekend everybody I have my tickets for the new Halloween movie and ironically my daughter's gonna go my wife's gonna go my brother and his two sons are gonna go and my son's gonna go so and uh, quite a few of those do not like horror movies so this is gonna be a very interesting movie now you see that side seems to take it off a little easier than that side that could be because of that blade alignment. But one pass done. And no nicks. Uh, some of the new shavers or the new subscribers to the channel says, hey, can uh, how come you do two passes or three passes? Why not just one pass? And that's thinking like a cartridge razor guy. Because a cartridge razor guy, you're usually in a hurry. You want to just do one pass, and uh, my hair kind of grows down at an angle. So if I just did the one pass, it would feel very smooth if I rub my face like this. But if I rub my face back against the grain, I would still feel those whiskers. So what I try to do, on a, at least on a two-pass shave, go with the grain, kind of against the grain, so you can, uh, and I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to do a third pass today, because my skin's very dry, and I really don't want 
I don't want to deal with it. But you see, it's smooth this way, and it got 99% of it this way, but this way, super smooth, super smooth. Can barely feel it that way. So that's why I do two passes. Might take a little longer, but the results, especially if you're using an aggressive razor, like that Mula R41 with the feather blade in it, I didn't feel stubble for like a day and a half. I've put links to all the sites, to the brush, to the ray, uh, to the sites in this video. If you uh, open up the description of the video, you will uh, you'll see the links. So to be honest, I'm not not a salesman, and uh, you can buy what you want. But I forgot what these cost me. This one I've actually had, God, maybe three, four months, and I I have not tried it yet. I like the feedback I'm getting with it. Very good. Wow. I have no complaints there. Menthol smell is still very, very strong, and I hope my eyes don't start watering. Not quite as bad as, uh, say, the Arctique or something, but... Uh, Great, great, great menthol smell. Uh. Mustache is coming in pretty good for Halloween. And then I'm going to be growing my goatee out for Movember. And uh, as I mentioned, it's not Movember yet, but Movember is, uh, they're encouraging guys to grow out their beard or their facial hair uh, to kind of make awareness of uh, getting uh, cancer screening, uh, colon cancer especially, prostate cancer. And I tell you, uh, just a public service, I heard from one of you, and the gentleman said he was 50 years old and he had been hesitant, hesitant about going and getting a, a colonoscopy. And they recommend it at uh, 50 and 55. And now I even think they shifted it to 40. But uh, they said he went in, uh, they went in, and they found uh, seven polyps that weren't cancerous yet. But all cancer comes from polyps. Uh, it, it, you know, not all polyps become cancerous, but all cancer comes from a polyp. So they removed seven, and they said, see you in five years. So he was very relieved, and that was nice. It was nice for him to tell me that, because I think I mentioned my... My sister-in-law, my or my cousin, uh, his wife, didn't want to go have it done. Didn't want to. Said it was inconvenient. That you know, a lady didn't want to have it done, and she ended up getting colon cancer and she passed away. So if they can catch that stuff, I'm telling you, man, be proactive. Oh, sorry, I'm going full out today. I'm using the Thayer's witch hazel. I have to go, I don't know if you can see it, but I have a little, looks like a cut right there. And that's some pre-cancer. So I'm gonna go in at the end of this month and they're gonna go in and do some surgery and uh, cut that out. Probably a few stitches or, you know, but get rid of it, man. If you if you find out you have anything, go get checked, get rid of it. That's my public service announcement. I'll do more in Movember. We're not there yet, but uh, bear with me. Who is this guy? Ken Surf's talking about. Going to the doctors. All right, some fine, clean vetiver. I just was going through the, the aftershaves, looking at some I hadn't used in a while. And this one uh, I hadn't. And I really do enjoy the smell. Oh, and I enjoy the burn especially. Wow. Now, no soap in the ears. I'm looking at this little screen, this iPhone 7 Plus, and uh, I never see the soap in the ears, but I did broadcast one of these on my uh, big TV through YouTube, and I go, wow, you can see everything. You can see all the stuff in the background. No wonder you guys can see it. I'm looking at this little screen going, ah. I'm even pondering the iPhone 10 XS. 
This is the 7 Plus, but I'm interested in the camera on the new phone. I, I heard it's good if you guys have tried out the iPhone X camera yet, or the XS Plus. I'd love to hear some feedback on you, because uh, I'm really interested in the new camera. No cuts. Great. What a lineup today. I'm satisfied with 100% of it. 100%. So, wow. If you're uh, looking for a reasonably priced version of the bevel, I guess this does work very good. Uh, the only thing I see is, like I said, it didn't slip out of my hand, but uh, it is a little slick. The other one is kind of a brushed finish. It's not quite as slick, but it's got a really nice look to it. All right, and uh, man, uh, the brush. I really like that brush. Oh, somebody was asking again, what do I do with the brushes? So I rinsed out the brush. I'm gonna put in some clean water. And try to hit all your comments. I shake it out really well. Now that's a big fat head. So I usually get these cheap uh, brush holders. And that works perfect. And actually I have one of these that I use for the Chubby, the Simpsons Chubby 2, and it just works good. I just let it dry on that. Because sometimes those big fat uh, knots don't always fit into your, uh, your normal brush holder. All right, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for uh, putting up with me for another week and uh, have a great weekend. I can't wait to see Halloween tomorrow. We'll, we'll have to tell you about that. And I look forward to seeing you again in another shave very soon. Till next time, it's Ken Sersing. Have a great night. Thank you for watching, and your subscriptions are always appreciated. Thank you so much.